Have you ever wondered how to set up your SketchUp model for layout? Well, if you don't know what layout is, this is a program that comes with SketchUp Pro and it allows you to take your SketchUp model and lay it out on two dimensional views. So it makes it easy to print out on paper so you can, you know, bring it to a job site or share it with other people. It's pretty cool. You can, um, there's tools that make it a lot easier for dimensioning. Uh, I know there's dimension tools in SketchUp. This works a little bit cleaner. Uh, there's also, you have the scrapbook here, so you can grab different uh, stamps, like commonly used stamps for architecture, and you can come in here and edit. You know, we can call that one and call this Elevation 5. So starting with a new document, you can either select a template or go with uh, just a blank sheet of paper. You can see there's like a bunch of different templates here, but I'm just going to go with plain A3 landscape. Then to import your model, you just go to File, Insert, and then you select the SketchUp model you want to put in here and you click Open. And what you'll see here is whatever, uh, however you saved your model last, that's how it's going to show up here. Now, the you know there is some built-in tools. If you just double-click the model that you just inserted, uh, it goes into you know this orbit mode where you can spin things around. But it's it's not you don't have as much control as you do in SketchUp. So the best way to actually set up the views that you want in layout is to go back into SketchUp and create scenes. Because once you do that, you can right click the model and go to scenes and select whichever scene you want. And you can do that for each page. You just go to the page tab, you add another page, and you can either insert the model again or you can just select this one, copy, I just hit control C and then control V pastes it and then you can select your other scene so back in SketchUp the first thing you're gonna wanna do is create a base scene that you can go back to so this isn't something that we'll use in layout but it's something that'll just give us uh, a, a view to go back to when we wanna start modeling again so we'll just uncheck the camera location and add this default scene and you can rename it like modeling scene if you want and the reason why we do this is as you're creating your scenes for layout you might be uh, changing the styles and changing your camera a bit so it's kind of frustrating when you have to reset all those settings um, and you know when you're doing modeling again so you can see here uh, our model and what we want to do we're gonna want to create like a top view and an elevation view for each wall here so the other and actually the other thing that I like to do is create like a nice perspective view so I'll usually come right into the corner here and get a view like this and uh, I'll change the field of view right from the camera menu come down to field of view and I usually go for something like 60 and that gives you a nice wide wide view and then I'll come into styles and I like this one this under the style builder competition pencil edges with whiteout borders that's like one of my favorite uh, sketchy uh, styles and then, okay, so now we'll come back into scenes and we'll save this as a perspective. So I like to put this on like the front page of my layout document. Okay, so now we can switch back. Uh, we'll just go back to our modeling scene. And we'll make sure our field of view back to 35 so the next thing we'll do is create a top view so if you have these default views from SketchUp that's pretty convenient you can just click that and it'll bring you to your top view and we want to have our parallel projection selected on the camera 
and that'll give us a nice straight parallel line view so we'll go ahead and save that as a scene and we want to make sure camera location is is selected and so we'll add that and we'll name that top view and then now we can start making our elevation views now most people what they'll do is they'll grab a section plane tool and create that and move that into where they want and try to save that but I find it to be very very inconvenient um, there's you know now you have a bunch of section plane objects that you have to manage so I don't even use them uh, I'm gonna delete that and I'll tell you my trick I use the position camera tool and what you're gonna do is you're gonna click and hold and then drag out and you can see how it locks along the axis so I'm gonna just drag out to the green axis and then let go and it'll orient the view parallel to whatever axis you dragged uh, dragged the posi position camera tool on so you'll go ahead and create a scene for that and you'll do that for each side now the thing that's neat about the position camera tool is let's say for instance we have so I have this view here now let's say I wanted to get a top view so I'll, I'll click and drag and let go and see how you can see the top of these wall cabinets now let's say I wanted to have a view that was the full countertop now how would I get something like that well first you would align your side view and then come in here and instead of clicking up here to start your uh, your position camera tool you'll start down here and then drag down so what will happen is the camera will now start from that first point you clicked and then go down so right now you can't see those cabinets and you can do that anywhere um, so like if I do this you see the side of the cabinet right here but if I were to drag from here you can see it's a cut it cuts the cabinet so it's kind of like a quick uh, section plane tool by using the position camera tool so when you're back in layout you import your SketchUp model and you right click and select the scenes that you want now the next step is to resize the model and to trim the edges so if you notice the arrows that are around the the model you can drag them to resize but it kind of it doesn't really do much for you because you want to know what kind of scale you're working with so you click on the SketchUp model tab over here and click preserve scale on resize and select the type of scale that you want to go to so I just hit half inch equals one foot and then now when I resize the box that's around it it doesn't resize the SketchUp model sometimes I like to use different styles uh, my probably my most common style that I'll use is the hidden line style and you do want to set that up in SketchUp but if you need to you can grab this from this menu you can hit uh, some of the the common styles but you can see how hidden line just makes uh, you can see the edges but everything else is white which is good when you're printing out on paper you'll save on ink so that's basically it once you've created your SketchUp model and you've created all the scenes within the model then you export it to layout and you know remember to use the position camera tool when you're trying to set up your scenes it works a lot better than the section cut tool and then you just bring it into layout and add your dimensions and any stamps you want to put on there and uh, you should be all set and if you want to learn more tips and tricks on how to use SketchUp visit mastersketchup.com